polynomials and standard form. So with this chapter, we're going to work with polynomials. We've been working with monomials up until now. We're going to focus more on polynomials. So a polynomial is a monomial or a sum of monomials, each called a term. A binomial is the sum of two monomials, hence the bi. And a trinomial is the sum of three tri monomials, trinomial. Polynomials with more than three terms have no special name. So we have monomials, binomials, and trinomials, and they all fall under that category of polynomials. The degree of a monomial is the sum of the exponents of all its variables. So we're going to take a look at some expressions here and decide um, if they are polynomials or not. We're going to decide is it a monomial, a binomial, or a trinomial, and then we're going to talk about the degree of the polynomial. So this expression, 3x minus 7xyz, is it a polyno polynomial? So I want to make sure that each term, and the terms are split up by adding and subtracting, that each term is a monomial. So 3x is a, ter is a monomial. It's a product of a constant and a variable. So that's a monomial. Um, negative 7xyz, that is also monomial. So yes, this is a polynomial because all the parts are monomials. It is a binomial because it's made up of two terms, and it's degree. So how we find the degree is we look for the largest degree of a polynomial, so of uh, each of the monomials. So if I look at this first monomial, again, we're going to do the sum of the exponents of its variables. So this is not a variable, so I'm not going to worry about it. It has a, has a power of 0. Um, my x, though, has an exponent of 1 there, so this 3x has a degree of 1. And then 7xyz, again, I'm only looking at the variables, so these each has a degree of 1. So together this has a degree of 3. Since this is the largest degree of this polynomial, the degree of the polynomial is 3. So this is a, a third-degree polynomial. Next expression, negative 25. Is it a monomial? Yes, it is. Since it's a monomial, it falls under that category of polynomials. So yes, it's a polynomial. Polynomial. It's a monomial. And since it doesn't have any variables in there, its degree is 0. So the degree of the entire thing is 0. Next expression. 7n cubed minus 3n to the negative fourth. 7n to the cubed is a monomial. Um, negative 3n to the negative fourth. This is not a monomial because we're technically dividing by that n here. This is 3 over n to the fourth power. Um, so no, it is not a polynomial. Since it's not a polynomial, it can't be any, I can't find its degree, and it can't be a monomial, trinomial, or binomial. And our last expression, 9x cubed plus 4x plus x plus 4 plus 2x, is it a polynomial? Well, each of these terms is a monomial, so yes, it is a polynomial. Which one is it, though? We really want to simplify it before we take a look at that, so let's simplify this. This simplifies to 9x cubed plus 7x plus 4. It has three terms there, so it's a trinomial. And what is the degree? So again, I'm going to look for the degree of each of the monomials. This has a degree of 3, 7x has a degree of 1, 4 has a degree of 0, so the largest degree here is 3. So the degree of this polynomial is 3. All right, let's take a look at standard form of polynomials. The terms of a polynomial are usually arranged so that the terms are in order from greatest degree to least degree. This is called standard form of a polynomial. And you can put the degrees in differing patterns, but standard form um, is largest degree to smallest degree. So we're going to write each of these polynomials in standard form, and then we're going to identify the leading coefficient. The leading coefficient is exactly what it sounds like. It's the coefficient that we're going to start this polynomial with. So I have x cubed plus x to the fifth minus x squared. I'm going to look at the degree of each monomial. So this is cubed. This, uh, this has a degree of 3, this has a degree of 5, this has a degree of 2, so I'm going to rearrange them though, so, so they're in order, so I end up with x to the 5th plus x cubed minus x squared. Pay attention to the fact that the number in front of this is like a negative 1 that goes with the term, so that negative needs to come along with the term, it's not going to just stay where it was. Um, as far as the leading coefficient, in front of my first term here, I have a 1, so the leading coefficient is a 1. My next expression. Uh, x to the fourth plus 4x to the third power minus 7x to the fifth plus 1. So if I look at the degree of each term, I have to the fourth degree, to the third degree, to the fifth degree, and to the zero degree. So I'm going to put my fifth degree first. Remember that negative sign needs to go along with it. 
So we have negative 7x to the fifth power plus, all right, my fourth is going to come next, plus x to the fourth. My third degree is going to come next, plus 4x to the third power. And then my constant here, which has a degree of 0, comes at the end. What's my leading coefficient? It's the not coefficient in the front there. So my negative 7 is my leading coefficient. And my last polynomial, negative 3x to the sixth y minus x to the fifth plus 2x to the eighth y to the second. So here I have two variables, so I need to pay a little bit more attention to the degree. So here I have a degree of, uh, I have an um, exponent of 6 and an exponent of 1. Don't forget that that's an exponent of 1 there. So this has a degree of 7. This, has, this second monomial has a degree of 5. And my last monomial, my last term, has a degree of 8 plus 2, which is 10. So I'm going to rearrange those so they're in descending order, starting with my 2x to the 8th y to the 2nd. Then I'm going to go to my 7th degree here, so minus 3x to the 6y. And then my lowest degree here to the um, 5, minus x to the 5th ends up at the end here. And my leading coefficient would be a 2 because that's the coefficient we're going to start this polynomial with. So po polynomials, we're adding or subtracting monomial terms.